Hi friends, I'm TTB. Welcome back to Mac Warrior 5 Mercenaries Legend of the Castle Lancers. In the last mission, we were taking out the power supply of the main city over on Tigris. And uh, we lost the Marauder. Luckily the pilot survived, but he's injured now. And um, the Marauder is out of commission for 49 days. And there's a next mission coming up, Tigris Part 3. Lancers, I won't mince words. We are in a nightmare scenario. Yep, that's exactly what we had in that city. How Siritsu's elite commandos were able to raid Marshal Pendrosa's command and get away with her battalion's encrypted Ministry of Information, Intelligence and Operations codebooks. If decrypted, House Lao will be able to decode House Devian, Wideband, Com Chatter and any transmissions sent to, into any comms facility on occupied planetary networks. The entire security of Operation Rat could be in jeopardy. Our MIO liaison believes that the encrypted codebook data packets are now in the hands of the Maskirovka, the Capellan State Intelligence Service. Justin has the codes, apparently. Our spies have reported that since the start of the war, the Maskirovka have been struggling to keep up and verify the flood of reports and information pouring into, uh, pouring into Sian every day. The head of the Maskirovka crisis team, Justin Sian, is said to have instigated rules requiring local and regional verification of any new intelligence data before being forwarded to Sian to ensure that verified critical intel to the capital isn't buried by a mountain of minor unverified reports. Because of this, our MIO liaison believes that the codebooks will stay on Tigress until they are decoded or verified by some other means. Which means that there is still hope that we can still intercept the third cruises stolen codebooks before they are allowed to transmit them to Sian. Commander, we cannot allow those codebooks to get off world. Once we identify the location of the Maskirovka, we will need to act swiftly and eliminate any data relay satellites that can transmit the codebook data packs to a jump ship or comstar. I'll need your unit to be ready at a moment's notice the second we identify where they are holding the codebooks. Prepare your lands for rapid deployment the, the moment we can verify the facility that is housing the codebooks. Take a drink every time they say codebooks. Unfortunately, I will not be able to commit additional forces to reinforce you for this mission, Commander. The Kestrel Lance's primary objective of bringing the system into the fold has not changed. And for now, House Uritsu and Lara's Legion still maintain control of Tigris. I'm trusting that you and Rihanna are the only ones capable of getting this done without much support from the rest of the second cruises. Don't let us down now, Commander. Alright. Security of Operation Red is in jeopardy. We can't give the Maskirovka time to decode those codebooks off planet. Commander, we've identified those spies, agencies, a local infrastructure, and have a marked number of satellite relays that could be used to broadcast the data. Destroy the relays! So it's raid time. Alright. Uh, full salvage, full money. No time to repair. Mission starts in 9 days. Okay, so this guy is gonna be out of commission. Let's pop in Colin Murphy. The Marauder is out of commission. Pop in the Warhammer. A little bit low on tonnage though. I don't have the other that quick draw ready already. Nope, will not be ready. Okay. So, uh... Jeez, everything is damaged. Hunchback 4J will not be ready. Forest P will be ready. Quick draw will also not be ready. A little bit low on stuff here now. Let's go Wolverine then. <sighs> okay. Looks like I have to do this in the Cataphract. Together with the Warhammer. Wish us luck. Wish us luck, guys. Commander, it's of the mm -hmm. utmost importance that you stop the Maskedovka from decrypting those codebooks. With them, they can decrypt our reports and significantly stifle Operation Rats. You're the man. We need to stop Putin. Our lives, but all Federated Sons forces at risk. Our Mio liaison has relayed the locations oh, it's of Mio, not MIO. Okay. relay stations in the system's capital of Jian Feng. We need them destroyed ASAP before Jian Feng. they decode and transmit the data to Comstar. Yeah, yeah. They'll know what we're up to the second we start taking down their relay stations. So timing is of the utmost importance in this mission, Commander. Good luck. Good luck, Commander. Make it so. Make it happen. Battle Cruiser Operational. Wait, what? 
Sad face. Alright, let's hope we don't lose a mech this time. Uh, tangle right, left, and then go through. Enemy, contact. Enemy Jenna coming in. Dude, stop hiding in the bushes. It's a bush warrior. Ow. That's a bull written for these guys do these guys do a lot of damage. Come on. Lance, kill him. This guy has such a target fetish. He's almost taken out my left arm already. See, every time you've got an enemy mech barreling down on you, super aggressive, and you have your lance just standing behind you, seemingly doing nothing, that's the worst feeling in the game. And that hasn't changed, so... Alright. If I could see the settled uplink, I would shoot it. There's the uplink. We are fed rats. Oh. Calling in the cavalry commander. Let's hurry it up here. New target blocked. Focus engagement on Leech target. Ow. Maze toast. Oh no, it's a submarine tank. He was fully submerged. Getting toasty. Hey, God, he's got no weapons. He's gonna punch out. Yep. Has the fisting been good this season? Yes, it has been. I guess it has been. I need a different mech to lead with. I'm gonna move into the uh, the Warhammer. Warhammer is actually doing pretty pretty well here. So I'm gonna be in the Warhammer now. Hopefully that kind of effect will take less damage if I lead in the Warhammer. That's a pretty thick undergrowth. I did a really good job with the jungle. Holy shit, the jungle feels like a jungle. Like, no pun intended. Demi Presenter Wu. Comstar. Don't get me started on Comstar. Those leeches. Oh. Hello. I could use some defensive help over here. Oh, I could use some defensive help over here. That's me. Oh god, did he just lose my arm? He just lost my arm. Alright. Give me those legs, boy! Yeah. What are these guys even shooting? These guys are all fresh. Uh -oh. You're a different mech. Ow, what? Do we have here? Cataphract. Okay, Cataphract is good. Got him. And he's almost toast as well. Rip! That black chick is. Uh, what? I mean, I still maintain, guys, these mechs live way too long for the amount of firepower we have here. Something weird's happening. Is my unit failed to paint this foam build to Comstar? Maybe. Okay. Damn it, this mech is so destroyed. Uh, it's 
go into the Wolverine. It's now or never, Commander. We need to stop those transmissions before they complete their handoff. Get this job done now. Forming on you. Let's go into this Wolverine. Come on, come on, come on. This is toast. What are we missing? Oh, that's one more. What? Where? Oh, there! Lol. Fuck! Did we fail the mission or was that as planned? I mean, I got the satellites, right? There was no timer, so I think we didn't fail. Let's get out of here. That's Rihanna. I like the thick jungles, that's actually pretty nice. Hammer out. Oh, at least we didn't lose any mechs. Cataphract took a lot of beating though. Four million sea bills. Mm, no mechs that we can grab that would be interesting. Our loot is pretty bad, so I'm just gonna go with a mech here. Grab a blackjack and jump jet. 150k in damage taken. That's fine, actually. The hunchback, for example, just dealt a lot under his actual ability to do damage. That was weird. Like, when I was fighting the uh, the four mechs in the center with the Shadowhawk, when I was getting shot so much, it just it just was very weird. It seemed to me like these three mechs were not even shooting back. Plus, every time I tapped around, the, those mechs were almost pristine, right? That was weird. Oh well. Commander, thanks for taking this debriefing with me in private. After your extraction, our support infantry moved to capture all Maskarov care facilities. Our MIO liaison has reviewed the intel collected and we've determined that the Maskarovka was ordered to verify their prize before they would be allowed to forward the data packets to Sian. Thanks to your intervention, they were unable to do so. In their panic, they did the only thing they could do to get the message off world, transmitting the full encrypted data packets through Comstar. Under Justin Xiang's mandates, they couldn't forward the package directly to Sian. They needed to forward the reports to the Commonalities Regional Capital for processing and verification. Normally, this would have been taken off had we not already conquered it, so instead they were forced to transmit the packages to the capital of their neighboring commonality. They've transmitted the code books to Sarna. Uh-oh. Little did they know that Sarna is already a marked target for the 5th wave of Operation Rat. De House Deviant's COC has just decided that the 5th searches Fusiliers and a pair of mercenary battalions will be the units that take Sarna. The Fusiliers are already looking for some payback after the Leal ambassador to New Sirtis kidnapped Duke Michael Hasek Devian 15 days ago when CID attempted to arrest the ambassador for espionage. <sighs> Sana. Are we going are they actually sending us to Sana? You know what happens to the fifth Sirtis Fusiliers on Sana. Ouch. That could be brutal. That could be a brutal meat wolf. I'm looking forward to that. Commander, I'm invoking your position within the Castle Lancers as a special operations battle mech company and ordering you to assemble your troops and prepare to depart for Sarah on your own. With Marshal Pedrosa injured, she has been recalled to New Avalon to report to the Mio director Quintus Allard to alert him of our situation personally. In her absence, I am needed here to secure Tigris with the rest of the second and third cruises. Unfortunately, the only support I can give you at the moment is a freshly repaired Zeus, whose pilot was KIA during the Curse Intruders ambush. While I'm still attempting to charter a jump ship route for this task, be ready to depart from Tigris in no more than seven days. 
I'll have more information for you prior to your departure. Until you meet up with the 5th Sutus Fusiliers, you will be on your own. So prepare your forces for anything and everything, make sure you stock up on provisions from the market and begin all refits and repairs prior to leaving for Sana. We'll discuss the details when I have them. Alright. We get a fresh Zeus. Not heavily weaponized, but uh, we'll see what we can do with that. I mean, the Zeus is going to be a little bit of a weird mech. We'll try it. LM15 stream, 4 medium lasers, tier 4. And a large laser tier 4. That is nice. Yeah, okay, got some good weapons in here. Well, it's time to repair. Like, all of our mechs are getting repaired right now, as you can see. <laughs> it's, it's, what was that, how many days? Dude, refitting, refitting just an arm is like 22 days, okay. Well, that kind of makes sense, I don't know. Okay, repair these guys. Uh, we will retire the Phoenix Hawk. Grab the Zeus. Paint the Zeus. And that thing needs weapons, unfortunately, now. Um, engine heatsink, so double heatsink in the engine, single heatsink here. And then weapons. Good large laser, maybe. And a couple of good mediums. Large missile slot. LRM 15 stream, tier 4. Sure, why not? not? Should be an interesting mech to play. Something very different from what I normally play. I don't think necessarily it's going to be better, but it's going to be interesting. Um, also, it's an assault mech, so we can have some armor. Mm-hmm, armor up this bad boy. Uh, we have a medium ballistic slot in the arm here. That means AC-10. It uh, depends if I have if I go learn 15 here, I can't do AC-10. It's gonna be too heavy. So an AC-10 burst fire here. Oh no, this tier 3 AC-10 is gonna be nice. That's still gonna be too heavy with the ammo. So, we're gonna go SRM-6 instead. Maybe no SRMs. This is, this is the problem with the Zeus. Like, for an assault mech, it's kind of under-weaponized, in my opinion. Super under-weaponized. Huh. Maybe you have to go with an AC-5. Or a medium rifle. Twelve damage. Uh, AC5 is better. I mean, yeah, or you go medium lasers, of course. In that case, then you can run it. That's actually a good point. You have to learn 15 stream, long range weapon. Ah, it's still gonna be too heavy. If you go with the AC... T like, no, no, we have to go SM6 there. That's the play. I think that's the play. One ton of SRM ammo, one ton of AC ammo. Lower the legs a little bit. Lower the cockpit a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, SRM half ammo. We have AC 10 half ammo here on the market. Yes, we do. So, AC 10 half ammo here. And then three heat sinks. That's gonna be it. Ah, uh, four heatsinks, sorry. And the firepower on this mech is not that high. That's why I never normally normally never use Zeus's, because they have they have like weird hard points. If there was a Zeus that had more SRM hard points, it would be brutal. But this is just a little bit weird. You could go large laser, like you could go main weapons large laser and LRM launcher and medium lasers if you forgo the AC-10 and you have like a more long range focused mech. This is like medium range to short range. That's a brawler. 30 days work order. Alrighty, not bad. Do we need to buy anything? Some good AC-10s here. I'm gonna buy one of those. AC-20 burst fire. 
lasers maybe. Short burst lasers. Oh, the short burst lasers are unfortunately all really crappy. Some not so bad small lasers though. And the PPC that we can grab. Missile department. Hmm. Uh, there's nothing good here. Well, we grabbed all the ammo stuff. All right. Well then, the next video we're gonna go ahead and depart Tigris and move on to more and better glory. Moving towards Sarna, that could be a brutal fight. If you've read the books, you know what happens on Sarna. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button to let TTB know that he's done a good job. He was a good boy. And of course, if you want to support me in doing more content because I'm doing this full time, check out the links in the video description below. Have a good one, guys.